Welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. All right, if you're clueless like me about Web3, or if you have no idea what I just said, today we're going to get you all plugged into all things tech and pivoting in your career, all thanks to best-selling author, sneakerpreneur, and Web3 mastermind, Carlos Gill. Good to see you again, Carlos. It's been some years. You're looking fantastic. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's great to see you once again, Mitch. All right, before we kicked off, we got to talk about in, NFTs uh, because we have questions and lots of them. As I know about you. You successfully actually started a sneaker company using NFTs. How did you make this happen? And behind you, by the way, are some of them, right? Yeah, so uh, right now I'm actually in my store here in Jacksonville, Florida. It's called the Hype Section. And my journey into NFTs started at the beginning of 2021. I started collecting NBA Top Shot just out of pure boredom, being at home like many of us back then were, and, and working from home. Um, and then eventually, I started investing into some of the other projects like Board Apes, Lazy Lions, Rumble Kong League. And after spending a lot of money in that piece, I said, you know what? I'm in the sneaker culture. I'm in the fashion. I'm in the sports cards. Let me see how I can parlay NFTs into a scalable business. And that's exactly what we've done here in Jacksonville, Florida with the hype section. We have a brick and mortar store uh, in which we offer sneakers, sports cards, but we also sell NFTs that unlock different perks and benefits. Very similar to what you would find with your traditional loyalty card at your supermarket okay. or your favorite department store. All right. Now, you've obviously been finding lots of success there, but you also found some success during the NBA bubble during the pandemic. How'd you pull that off, man? Yeah, so uh, in the early days of the pandemic, my brother-in-law and I, we started a uh, mask business called Outlaw Masks. You're seeing it there on the screen. And like any other startup business, we were thinking of different ways that we could get our brand out there. We used TikTok. We created viral videos on TikTok, going to Walmarts and, and other businesses, giving away masks. But what really put us on the, on the map, if you will, was sending uh, over 300 masks to the NBA bubble, getting those masks on the faces of NBA players yeah. and then being seen across social media. Yeah, and you do an incredible job on social media as well, Carlos. I mean, I see your feeds everywhere I go. And now you pivot into Web3. Here's what I know about Web3. It has something to do with servers. Can you give me, a, 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 and where everything's located, give me, a, a, just dumb it down for me. What is Web3 and what made you pivot to Web3? At the highest level, Web3 is the evolution of Web 2.0 or social media, as okay. we commonly refer to it. It's really creating a, an open network uh, called the blockchain where transactions are public, records are public, um, and you're using cryptocurrency primarily as the means to transact versus using cash as we know it. Um, the aspect of NFTs that I particularly enjoy is twofold. It's so one, the collection side. Um, of projects such as Board Apes and others I mentioned before, but also being a part of a, of a bigger community. Um, for me, this pivot from being a public speaker, author, into then creating an e-commerce business and now into Web3 makes me realize that as an entrepreneur, it's very important that you're constantly keeping up to date with what's new, um, what's coming down the pike. And by doing so, it's going to ensure that you're never out of work. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sure like 10 years from now, somebody's going to pull up this video of me saying, what is Web3? Because it's going to be a, like an everyday thing, I'm sure. But is that why it's important for businesses, no matter what kind of business you're in, to start pivoting into this uh, Web3 uh, uh, craze? Yeah, I would say where, where we're at right now towards the end of 2022, it's important for every business to understand that the world's continuing to evolve, how consumers are paying for goods, that's evolving as well. Accepting yeah. cryptocurrency in your business, like we do here at the Hype Section, is very important. Even if you don't launch an NFT project, buying NFTs uh, has value for businesses, but uh, at a very minimum, you should educate yourself on how the world is changing. And with that being said, you should really, if you're a brick and mortar business, especially like we are here at the Hype Section, consider accepting crypto in your business. Are you talking about that in your book about uh, basically the end of marketing, uh, which is the name of the book? Do you discuss these sort of things in it? 
You know, so I've written two editions of the end of marketing. The, the first edition came out uh, at, the, at the end of 2019. The second edition came out in the last year. I like to call last year's edition uh, the COVID edition because it's very much uh, <laughs> teaching marketers and businesses how to market in a post-pandemic society. Uh, we're not at the third edition yet, but okay. I have a feeling uh, my publishers watching this are probably thinking we got to write a third edition all about crypto and Web3 and NFTs because, again, the world continues to evolve and yes. change. All right. Now, if you want more information on Carlos and his book, The End of Marketing, Humanizing Your Brand in the Age of Social Media and AI, why don't you head to our website, dailyflashshow.com. Carlos, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. And I, I want to say good luck to you, but you got it all planned out, man. <laughs> you got things set up. So, But good luck to you, indeed. <laughs>